Welcome to the world of the Golden Girls, a timeless TV series that has captivated audiences since the 80s. This classic sitcom follows the lives of four vibrant women Dorothy, Blanche, Rose, and Sophia as they navigate the ups and downs of life in Miami. Join them on their journey through friendship, love, and the challenges of everyday life. As you dive into this show, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. You'll encounter hilarious moments that will leave you in stitches, unexpected twists that will catch you off guard, and heartwarming scenes that might bring a tear to your eye. So keep those eyes glued to the screen. Among our beloved characters, everyone has a favorite. Whether it's the quick-witted Dorothy, the lively Blanche, the sweet and naive Rose, or the sassy Sophia, each one brings something special to the table. Who stole the show for you? Behind the scenes, discover fascinating facts and anecdotes about the making of the Golden Girls. From unexpected cast dynamics to funny behind-the-camera moments, the stories behind the scenes are as interesting as the ones on screen. What hidden gems have you uncovered? Before we wrap up, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this show? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We can't wait to read them. Get ready for more laughs, surprises, and heartfelt moments in The Golden Girls. It's a journey worth taking, and your stories make it even more special. Happy watching! The television gem from 1985, The Golden Girls, didn't just appear on screens. It left a lasting impression on our culture. As viewers tuned in to the lives of Dorothy, Blanche, Rose, and Sophia, the show's effect was immediate and profound. During its time, The Golden Girls became a cultural phenomenon. The sharp banter and relatable scenarios resonated with audiences, making it a regular in households across the nation. The humor wasn't just entertaining, it reflected the everyday challenges and joys of its viewers. Beyond the laughs, the show sparked spin-offs, expanding its influence. Fans couldn't get enough, and these extensions delved into individual characters' stories, providing a deeper understanding of their lives. These additions kept the spirit of the Golden Girls alive, ensuring that the laughter and camaraderie continued long after the original series concluded. Merchandise became another sign of the show's lasting popularity. From t-shirts to mugs, fans eagerly embraced items adorned with memorable quotes and iconic moments. The Golden Girls became more than just a show. It turned into a lifestyle, celebrated through various products that allowed fans to carry a piece of the beloved series with them. Adaptations also played a crucial role in solidifying the Golden Girls' place in culture. The timeless appeal of the series led to remakes and reinterpretations in different cultures, showcasing its universal themes of friendship, love, and resilience. The show's influence reached far beyond its initial run, becoming a touchstone for subsequent generations. Looking back, The Golden Girls isn't just a TV show, it's a cultural touchstone. Its influence on popular culture echoes through the years, shaping how we view friendship, aging, and the humor in everyday life. The journey through friendship, love, and life's challenges not only captivated its audience during its time, but also left a lasting impression on our culture. The spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations that follow Wood are proof of the enduring impact of this beloved series. Big Daddy, originally portrayed by Murray Hamilton, underwent a significant change in the cast following Hamilton's passing. David Wayne stepped into the role, bringing his own touch to the character within The Golden Girls. A recurring source of humor in the series revolves around the jokes made by the girls at Rose's expense regarding her natural hair color. Interestingly, Betty White, who played Rose, was a natural brunette and opted to dye her hair blonde for the show. B. Arthur, portraying the no-nonsense Dorothy, faced an unexpected discomfort behind the scenes. Despite her character's love for crazy earrings, Arthur did not have pierced ears. The solution? Stylist Judy Evans adorned her with clip-on earrings, providing the desired dramatic effect while sparing Arthur's ears from the discomfort of pierced jewelry. These behind-the-scenes snippets offer a glimpse into the practicalities of bringing the Golden Girls to life, from cast changes to the challenges of accessorizing. It's a reminder that the charm of the show extends beyond the scripted moments, revealing the dedication and creativity that went into crafting the beloved series. Betty White, known for her role as Rose Nyland, showcased her versatility by portraying the character on four different shows Empty Nest, Nurses, and The Golden Palace, in addition to The Golden Girls. This underlines White's ability to seamlessly bring Rose to life across various storylines. 
A recurring theme in numerous episodes revolves around the girls unintentionally encountering male genitalia, be it in a painting or an erotic cake. Dorothy's consistent reaction, a simple woe, adds a touch of humor to these instances, creating a running gag within the series. During the casting process, actresses vying for the role of Dorothy were described as fitting into a B. Arthur-esque role. This description speaks to the unique charisma that B. Arthur brought to her portrayal of Dorothy, setting a standard that potential candidates were expected to meet. These insights into behind-the-scenes dynamics further enhance our understanding of the show. Betty White's portrayal across multiple series, the recurrent humor in certain episodes, and the specific casting requirements for Dorothy's role all contribute to the nuanced fabric of the Golden Girls. In an unexpected twist, a young George Clooney made a memorable appearance in season two to catch a neighbor as a fresh-faced cop, adding a new dynamic to the season cast. As time passed, a bittersweet chronology unfolded for the actresses of the show. Estelle Getty, the first to bid farewell, left in 2008 at the age of 84. B. Arthur followed Wood in 2009 at 86, while Rue McClanahan, the youngest, departed in 2010 at 76, holding the record for the shortest lifespan among the four. Interestingly, Betty White, who celebrated her 99th birthday on January 17, 2021, outlived them all. However, on December 31, 2021, she too left, just 17 days shy of her centennial milestone. Despite the cozy camaraderie within the house, an interesting quirk stood out the kitchen table always had three chairs, not four. This was a practical filming decision to avoid awkward positioning or turning one actress away from the camera. B. Arthur, being the tallest, occupied the central chair strategically placed to capture her expressive reactions to the colorful narratives of the other characters. The Golden Girls set face challenges, but creative solutions prevailed. B. Arthur, despite her character's love for extravagant earrings, did not have pierced ears. Stylist Judy Evans came up with an ingenious solution by adorning her with clip-on earrings, allowing for drama without discomfort. Betty White's versatility extended beyond the Golden Girls as she brought Rose Nylon to life in multiple shows. Meanwhile, an unexpected running gag involved the characters stumbling upon male genitalia, always eliciting Dorothy's trademark response, a simple, whoa. These backstage insights reveal the practicalities behind the scenes, showcasing the dedication and resourcefulness that breathed life into the show. It's a tribute to the timeless charm of the series that goes beyond scripted moments, making it a lasting part of television history. Rue McClanahan, the actress who played Blanche, had a special condition in her contract. She got to keep all the fancy clothes her character wore. This meant she ended up with 13 closets full of designer outfits in her Manhattan apartment. This little detail adds an interesting twist to the behind-the-scenes story of the show. Transforming Estelle Getty into Sophia wasn't a quick process. It took 45 minutes in the makeup chair every time. Getty really put in the effort to make her feisty character come to life. This shows how much work went into bringing the four main characters to the screen. Rose, with her Norwegian language skills, often sounds like she's speaking nonsense, but it's intentional and adds humor, especially when there are subtitles. The writers did a clever job using Rose's quirky language to make the show funny in different ways. Rue McClanahan's big wardrobe, Estelle Getty's careful makeup routine, and Rose's funny Norwegian moments are examples of the small things that made the Golden Girls special. These behind-the-scenes details show how much dedication and creativity went into making it a beloved classic.